Coach Gross, you ended last weekend on a nice note, 12-2 and two in conference. You won the program's 24th uh, conference championship since 1972, so congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I feel great about that. It was a great weekend. Uh, two good games up in Northland and in Scalaska. And proud of the guys. It was a tough conference race. Um, a lot of close games and uh, real balance in the UMAC this year, um, top to bottom. So it feels good to win that regular season title. Of the four conference teams in the in the UMAC tournament, you're the only one that doesn't have a nine and five league record going into it. So, not a huge advantage for being the one seed, uh, being that you have three teams at two, three, and four. But you do have two wins against Morris, your opponent, coming up on Wednesday night. You won 81-72 at their place, and then you won 70 to 67 here in the Erickson Center. Your thoughts on those games and just Morris in general going into Wednesday? Yeah, I mean, you know, just to back up first, I mean, yeah, the three, nine, and five, I mean, all three very good teams. I mean, you know, uh, any of the four teams can win this tournament. I don't think it's going to be a surprise if anybody comes out of it. Um, you know, we're glad to be the one seed, you know, glad to have a home game on, on Wednesday. Um, against Morris, we've had two real competitive uh, close games against them. Um, they've gone in our favor, but uh, they were both very, very hard fought. Uh, very similar teams. You know, we both shoot the ball well. I mean, I think Morris is 50% on the year in conference. You know, 42 from three. Um, very, very, you know, talented, very dangerous offensive basketball team. So uh, we're very similar, I think, to each other in, in the fact, like I said, we both can shoot the ball well and both very well balanced. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys in that double figures, and, and so do they. You know, there's not really one or two key guys you can key in on the stop because there's a lot of different guys that can hurt you. Going along with what you said, um, Morris beat Bethany Lutheran, they beat North Central, so they beat the other two teams mm -hmm. at least once that they're tied with, but they had four players, <clears throat> excuse me, in double figures in each game against you. Does that concern you? It, it definitely. <coughs> I mean, we're, we're going to need a great defensive effort against them um, because they, they can score. I mean, I think in conference they're, I think they're the top scoring team at 80 points a game. Um, maybe North Central is right there too, and we're we're up at I think 79. But um, they can they can flat out score the ball, so uh, we are going to need a great defensive effort, um, you know, to uh, to be successful against them. You've got a couple of players, <clears throat> excuse me, come on strong late. Lance Westberg, Tom Gissler seems to be finding a stroke from behind the three point line. Does that give you a little more comfort? It does. I mean, our four seniors give me a lot of comfort. I mean, they, they've had a great, you know, senior year, you know, great careers. Um, I know it's not over yet, uh, so I shouldn't talk in, in that tense. But, um, you know, having those four guys out there is huge. And, you know, different guys have stepped up. Uh, you know, if Wade or, or Tom, you know, maybe had an off game. You know, Lance Westbrook's had some big games for us. Ellis Libby um, has had some big games for us, um, you know, scoring too. So, uh, you know, we feel we have good balance, and our guys coming off our bench. Uh, you know, we don't talk a lot about that, but uh, you know, we've had a deep bench, and, and feel like um, you know we've gone nine tip nine ten deep most of the season, and guys have been producing. So, hopefully, we'll rely on that depth uh, too in the conference tournament. Awesome. Well, we'll see you on Wednesday night. Thanks, Greg.